Even but, though he's getting, but fucked. they getting fucked literally though. Like let's be clear on this, mm-hmm. they're getting penis in their butt. <laughs> no, I'm being honest with you. I gotta tell you, they getting penis in uh, their butt. Yeah, <laughs> for real. A lot of these niggas uh, have to do the show. No, 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 no. Look, this goes back to what I was asking. You really believe artist, that? Listen, you really believe that that really actually happens? Bro, what? Mm. Listen, bro. Listen, yo, man. Yes, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> listen, bro. Listen. All right, check it. That's why you got everybody watching this. Go back and watch the Math Hoffa interview. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I kind of like broke it down. Mm. And Math was trying to get me to say the names and shit. Like, like really yeah. say niggas' names. I'm like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gotta do that because I don't want to fuck brothers' lives up like that. Yeah. But I say this: the music business is ran by the devil. Mm. So the music business is only designed to get as many people to go away from God as possible. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the devil needs workers. And by workers, he needs people who have influence, who can mislead or misguide people away from the light into the darkness. Mm -hmm. So this is why the artist is powerful. So the artist is the mouthpiece, okay? Mm That artist is the mouthpiece between the devil and the fan. Mm -hmm. And the artist's job is to get you to Throw up these weird signs. Mm-hmm. What are you doing this for? This is the bot for me. I don't fuck with this. So don't think I'm throwing this up because I, I don't fuck with this. Mm-hmm. I'm just showing you when you see these signs, when you see the checkerboards, when you hear them talking about demon time and drill and kill and all this shit, mm-hmm. even the actual beat and the BPM, it's all 808 drums. This is all low vibrational shit. Mm-hmm. So what happens is the artist is only the tool used to push the message of the devil. Mm-hmm. It's a spiritual war. So what happens is in order for that artist to be in position to even mis- get, mislead the people, they have to be worthy. This is hazing. Mm-hmm. This is the hazing aspect of it. So when you look at colleges, you look at fraternities, you have to be hazed in order to get in, mm. to, to pledge, to be a pledge. A in order to in order to climb the ladder in the music industry, you have to be hazed. Mm. And when you're getting hazed, you're getting fucked in your ass. So you think you're you know saying like basically this the, homosexual ritual. The, the, I'm the saying, higher they get is more hazing they gotta yes, do. Yes, because it's more, it's it's more you gotta people listen, and I'm it's not about being a conspiracy theorist. Mm. God said this my people will perish due to lack of knowledge. Mm. All right? You look at the name of your show. So mm-hmm. you got to do the science. You got to have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Mm-hmm. You got to look. You got to look at what's going on, so you understand the purpose of it. Yes. yes. If you're in a fraternity, right, and or you're in an army, or you you whatever it is, there's a, there's there's levels. Mm-hmm. You can't get if you're a police officer, a sergeant. They got stripes on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They got stripes for reasons. Them bars represents years, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you heard? Yeah, yeah. So in order for you to climb this ladder, every ladder of success, there's a level of hazing attached to it. Mm-hmm. These are the rituals, but they're evil and satanic because the whole industry is ran by the devil. Yeah. I didn't say you can't be successful. You just can't be successful in the music industry and still keep your soul. You can't go to hell and say, hey, I'm bringing my AC. Uh-huh. You feel me? So these artists, they're getting fucked in the ass because that's their ritual. That's their rite of passage to get to the next level of witchcraft, magic, or whatever that is. And the reason why I expose it, not because I'm trying to be the cool motherfucker is I want black people to understand that mm-hmm. we have to stop letting these other people from not in our culture mm-hmm. dictate how we create and how we um um uh, um use our culture, our I, projects, I, I, our I music. Agree you know what I'm saying? Thousand percent, bro. I mean, I'm like one of those culture type of people too, and I kind of grew up like yeah. with that type of mentality. But they getting fucked though. Let's be yeah, clear. Man. This ain't no. Yeah. Well, listen. And these are they getting fucked and they mad because they can't do nothing. You know why they can't do nothing? Let me say his last name. Uh, they can't do nothing because the record labels, the record labels, the execs, they date rape these artists. Mm. They, 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 they give them transformers. So you go, so they get high, they get intoxicated, and they have transvestites fuck them in the ass. Mm. They have transvestites drug them and videotape this shit. Why you you why look, bro, it just happened right in front of you niggas. The nigga with, with TDE, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, how you got a mm-hmm. video out of you sucking dick and somebody sucking your dick? Yeah. That's how the music business is, bro. And the reason why, let me tell you something. The reason why he was able to spin it into a win is because he committed the rest of his soul. Mm-hmm. If he wasn't with it, that nigga would have turned up dead somewhere probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.